Yeah, I'm gonna if it if you could bear that. Yeah, no, it's yeah, Alvin Maruji talking to Mike Crawley on uh, Media Day with the Lynx. And now Mike, you and I talked before about how social media is changing. And and me at fifty two, you know, I remember eight track tape days. <laughs> and but even even for, for you, it's changed even over the last handful of years. How so? Sure. I mean, it, the crazy part is, Alice, you know, everything now is instantaneous. So, you know, before when you're setting up a media day, a lot of times you wouldn't see that coverage from that event till that, that night on the news mm -hmm. or the next day in the paper. Mm -hmm. Now it's reporters instantly tweeting stuff, putting stuff on Facebook, pictures, uh, quotes from players right away. Mm -hmm. As you know, and now it's gotten to the point, too, where it's not only just having media here. We have, you know, folks like yourself. We have season ticket holders mm -hmm. uh, coming down and, and tweeting. And, and, you know, to give a fan's perspective of Media Day. And, you know, the other cool thing that we're doing is, you know, now social media a little bit, more website as well. But, you know, having our Media Day broadcast live on linksbasketball.com and yeah. having players you know, live interviews and people at home being able to watch it right now. Yeah. Now, from a planning perspective, what does that do to your day, your week, your month? <laughs> yeah. I kind of throws it up into, you know, I don't know, but it makes it crazy. You know, it, it's one of those things that, you know, you're, you're um, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to plan everything out and you're trying to set everything as much as you can in advance. But, you know, I mean, when, when things happen and it's instantaneous on Twitter and stuff, that definitely throws a monkey wrench into the things and you got to be really nimble and be able to react quick. And, um, you know, it also makes it really exciting too. And, and it, it's a great benefit for our fans because now our fans can get that, that information and that message right away. They don't have to wait to the news. They don't have to wait for the paper the next day. They're yeah. online. They're they're interacting, you know. And, you know, even for our linksbasketball.com uh, website that we're doing right now with the live chats, and Joan is interviewing our players live, yeah. and he's taking questions from fans. So. Yeah, right over there he's interviewing them live. While you're off camera, I'll just stay on Jonah for a second. Do you think this creates uh, a better... Um, um, environment, greater connection, more of an emotional attachment to the team, or no? Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, between uh, having fans be able to ask people like Jonah, even ask our players directly questions yeah. through Twitter, through Facebook, I think that makes a huge connection. It really helps, you know, fans relate, connect to them, find out about what's going on. Um, I think it's one of those things that's a huge benefit. Yeah, wonderful. Mike, I know you're busy. Thanks so much for your time. You bet. Thanks, Al.